We got an email from Linda who writes in, well, she's got a new sound card tonight to try it in her computer, but when she opens up the box for the first time, she sees it's already got a built-in audio down on the motherboard thingy going on. How do I install it? A lot, right. of people, a lot of people have yeah. audio uh, support on the motherboard. It's mm -hmm. very common these days. Why would you want to replace it, though? I mean, isn't that isn't it? Good well, enough? people tend to think it tends to be a little lower quality. It can actually be involved. It can require Windows or your main processor to actually do some of the computing for that audio software. Um, generally, though, you know, the general consensus is that you're going to get better quality audio from a separate sound and card. And these cards are $40, $30, not expensive. $600 if you're into the high-end stuff. All right. So how do we, first, I guess we have to disable yeah. the on board audio. In right? a lot of cases, you can actually leave it in place. And what you can do is basically inside the multimedia control panel in Windows, you can select the new sound oh. card rather than the one that's down on the onboard audio. But oftentimes, you can actually go into the BIOS and shut off the onboard audio. So let's go ahead and do that. You might want to do this if you have an issue with, say, uh, the number of interrupts you have available to you. Yeah. The onboard audio will use an interrupt. See, there it is in our peripherals. I just hit enter and I select disabled. And now I'm going to escape and I'm going to save my changes. All right. So we're going to reboot the machine. We've basically disabled the, th that simple, by yeah. going into the BIOS setup. Now, how to get into that varies on, from machine to machine. In some machines, uh, you, you'll press F10, uh, right. you'll press escape, you'll press delete when you're first booting up. But you'll see a message when you first boot up that says, press this key to enter BIOS setup. So we've done that. We've, we've done disabled that. the audio card. We're restarting. we're restarting the machine. You did turn off the machine before you put the card in, yeah. didn't you? I what did you just do? The card. Okay. Hey, I'll how do you like our cup again. holder, though? Isn't that nice? I like that. This is one of the few machines I've seen that actually come with a cup holder for when I you're think doing a these. a Jamba Juice cup under there. Yeah, let's uh, let's just show you how handy this is. How handy is it? Well, we don't have a Jamba Juice. Uh, how about this? That's a little big to fit in there. <laughs> no, but you can just put that right in here. That's the nice thing about having that extra space. And did we mention inside every PC there's actually a beverage warmer? Look at that. Isn't that handy? <laughs> okay, so it's not a cup holder. We're just kidding. We're booting up. We're just stalling while we boot up. Yeah. Now, is Windows going to automatically see this card? Is it going to automatically disable the other audio? Well, if, if it's not going to automatically disable. What we've done is we've shut off. We've used it's the It's like removing the card. Exactly. Let's go ahead and reset that. We've, basically, we've shut it off in BIOS. That means the computer, the motherboard, basically doesn't think there's audio on the motherboard anymore. Now, what this will do is actually load it. Normally, it lasts for software. We've pre-installed the, the drivers for this before. And if we go into the start button, should we open Start up? button? Should we see if it works? Sure. What am I going to do? You tell uh, me. We can go into the settings, control panel. Oh, you want to uh, see the audio control, audio settings? Here? Yeah. And we'll have to show that we should actually see the multimedia control panel. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Sound Blaster Live. That's what we put in. That's so what we, we disabled in. the onboard video. Yeah. Now, you probably will be asked for the drivers for the Sound right. Blaster with the first time it boots up. We skipped that step. but I just said that. You did say that. Well, I'm just reiterating that. He is.